can't believe it's been a year already. Wow. Hello, my lovelies. It is time for another round of Have I Read It? So stay tuned. So it has been an entire year of this series. Like, I can't believe it. It doesn't feel like it's been a year that I've been doing the Have I Read It series, but I have really enjoyed it. But I do think I want to make a change as we are hitting the, well, as we have hit the one year anniversary of this series. Very, very often I get requests for me to do uh, a reaction like this to my book outlet hauls as well. And I want to accommodate and I would like to do this with all of the hauls that I have done, whether they are like regular hauls or like special occasion hauls or book outlet hauls. I want to do the reactions to all of these hauls that I've done. Uh, however, that being said, I can't necessarily read six from each one. Uh, so I have decided to make a change to this whole series. So from this point forward, instead of selecting six books out of all the books that I haven't read from that haul, what I'm going to do, and this will also answer another question you might be having uh, on why this video is up as early as it is, because I know it's really early. What I'm going to do is out of all of the books that I haven't read in this particular video, you all will get to vote on which book I should read. And I will add that to my TBR, which you will see in my Wheel of TBR video at the end of the month. That being said, this is not going to be the only Have I Read It this month. I'm starting off easier on myself, kind of easing into this. This month we will have two Have I Read It. So uh, there's this one that you're seeing now, and then there will be another one uh, in two days from now. You'll get to vote on a book from each video. Just vote down in the comments, and the book that gets mentioned in the most comments will be the book that I add. And you'll see, like I said, in my Wheel of TBR video towards the end of the month, beginning of the next month. It's usually like on the last day of the month or something, like, or the first day of the month. But anyway, I am super excited. There's going to be some months where we may get several of these videos, uh, but like I said, starting off gentle on myself and just doing the two, uh, I'm going to do, today I'm doing the regular August 2018 book haul, which is where we're up to at this point, as far as the regular Have I Read It series has gone. In two days, you will see my first book outlet haul video I did, which was in October of 2017. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna kinda just pull from any haul videos that I haven't done up to this point. So the very first book outlet haul, or the very first haul that I haven't reacted to was my book outlet haul for October 2017. So that'll be the next video you see. <sighs> I'm a little nervous about how this is gonna go, but at least I know I don't have to pick six from each, so that's good. Okay, so I have my earbuds here. Okay, got my earbuds in, got the video pulled up. Let's get started. Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Very green hair. <laughs> Today I have my August book haul for you, so stay tuned. So I have 26 books here to show you, so 26. let's just get right into it. Here we go. Okay, so the first book I have here is a book that was sent to me by one of you lovely people, and she's also an author, and I happened to see the trailer for this book on her YouTube channel and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to read that book. And she sent it to me. And that is Earthly Divine by Tabby Newcomb. And this is the Unearthly series book one. Uh, I have read that. And I've actually uh, 
hung out with Tabby down in Florida. We went out to dinner together. It was a fun time. The next two books I have here are books that came in subscription boxes. So the first one is Sanctuary by Carolyn Lynx or Lix. Nope. Well, at least we started with one that I have read. So that's good. Okay, let me find this. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what this says. Kinsey holds one truth above all. The company is everything. As a citizen of Omni Stellar Concepts, the most powerful corporation in the solar system, Kinsey has trained her entire life for one goal, to become an elite guard on Sanctuary, Omni Stellar's space prison for superpowered teens too dangerous for Earth. Okay, that's all I'm going to read of that. Okay, this sounds interesting. So this is the first book. Let me clear a space here. My shelves are very cluttered right now. Okay, we'll set that right there. All right, what's next? So this next book came from my bookie box and that is Nine by Zach Hines. I've read this one too. Yay, okay. All right. I should not get too confident. Okay, let's just continue. Okay, then these next 11 books are books that I ordered off of Amazon. So the first one is to All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I've read that one too. Yay. It took me a long time before I got around to reading that one, but I did and I'm very excited. Yay. Okay. So following the theme of reading a book and then watching a movie, the next book I bought from Amazon was The House with a Clock in Its Walls by John Belairs and... I've read that one too. Oh my gosh. And uh, I have to say that is one where the movie was actually better than the book. In my opinion, the book is super short. It's, I think it's even a children's book. I don't even think it's middle grade. Um, and then the movie has like Jack Black in it. And I remember before the movie came out, I was thinking, how in the world are they going to make this into a movie because it was like there was so little to go on but they added a lot and the movie is great continuing on okay next up we have buffy the vampire slayer omnibus season eight volume one i've read volume one i think i'm about to pull out volume two i can't remember if i've read that though hold on let's see and volume two okay so i have to look to see if I've read volume two or not. I know I've read volume one, hold on. Okay, yes, I have read them both. Yay, okay. Where's the video? <laughs> I lost my tab. Okay, continuing on. And continuing with the Buffy trend, I got the Spike Omnibus. I have not read the Spike one. Okay, I think this is just like filling in little things between the shows, so I'm gonna go grab it. Um, like I said, I haven't read this one yet, so be right back. So this says it's a, uh, well it says learn more about the bad boy of the Buffy verse in Spike's earliest stories like Lost and Found, Old Wounds, and Old Times. Then read along as Spike battles the Lord of the Undead in Spike versus Dracula, and finally catch up with Spike as he heads to the asylum on a work for her mission before heading to Japan to stop maniacal puppets in shadow puppets. It's more spike than you can shake a sharp wooden stake yet. And this thing is thick. Ugh. Oh, and it is a graphic novel. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we have. And I found another one by another author, and that is the complete series Spike. I have not read that one either. So here we go. This says Spike is out on his own, away from Angel's watchful eye, and in charge of his own destiny. Old flames and new challenges arise as Spike faces a crazed killer, Wolfram and Hart, and the consequences of having a soul. And... It does say in on Goodreads that it um, connects the After the Fall storyline to the subsequent Buffy Season 8 series. So this might be okay to read since I've already read the, the Buffy Omniverse 
uh, volume one and two for season eight. So if you want to vote for this spike one, you can just say spike one. And if you want to vote for this one, you can put spike two. Continuing on. So that's all of the Buffy. Now on to the other things that I got from Amazon. I got Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli, as well as The Upside of Unrequited and Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Okay, so Leah on the Offbeat, well actually I've read all three of them, uh, but I've unhauled The Upside of Unrequited because I really just didn't like that book. But I did enjoy the other two. So yay. I guess I'll mark two is read and one is unhauled. Okay, next up I got Giant Days Volume 2. I have read Giant Days Volume 2. I can't remember how far into that series I've read. I think I've read like the first six or seven volumes. Uh, so yeah, I've read that. Okay, the last book that I got from Amazon was actually a book for Xander, and that is The Golden Sandal, a Middle Eastern Cinderella story by Rebecca Hickox. I don't remember if I ever read that to Xander or not, but I do have it on my shelf. So let me go grab that. So this was from like three years ago, and I was homeschooling Xander at the time, and uh we were doing a lesson over the same story told under different like in different cultures and so we were going over the cinderella story and it's told in several different cultures and this one is the middle eastern cinderella story and it's called the golden sandal and it is a children's book all right next up and I got this along with two other Cinderella stories that I'll show you now from Thrift Books. And that is The Rough Face Girl and Yeshin, A Cinderella Story from China. Oh, there are the other two. <laughs> Let me go grab those if I can find them. Hold on. So I think because these are children's stories and they are so short, I'm not going to make each one an individual vote. You can just like vote Cinderella and I'll read all three of them but yes we have the rough face girl here this is a uh, about an Algonquian Cinderella we have that and then Yishin is a Cinderella story from China all right next sorry if there was an angle change but my battery died okay back to this so the next book I got from Thrift Books was another book for Xander, and that is Platero and I by Juan Ramon Jimenez. I have unhauled that one. Okay, so next is another book from Thrift Books, and that is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgkin Burnett. I have read that. Okay, and then the last book that I got for Xander from Thrift Books is Marie Curie and the Discover of Radium by Anne E. Steink. Steink? <laughs> okay, I have not read that, but I think I have unhauled that. Yeah, I think I have. Alright. I'm surprised at how well I've done so far. <laughs> Continuing on. So I think those are the last of the Xander books. Okay, so the next three books that I have here also came from Thrift Books. I have Whatever Happened to Janie by Carolyn B. Cooney. Also, The Voice on the Radio. And What Janie Found. And these are books two, three, and four in the Janie Johnson series. Okay, uh, let me look. I have read some of those, but I cannot remember which ones. So, give me a second. Okay, so I have read the first two books in that series. So, out of those three books, I've only read Whatever Happened to Janie. And I have not read The Voice on the Radio or What Janie Found. So, let me grab those. Well, in this case, I only really need to grab the first one. So, I'll grab The Voice on the Radio. Uh, and this is uh, the Janie Johnson series. And it follows a girl who sees her face on a milk carton 
and finds out that she was actually kidnapped as a child and there's this whole other family that's been looking for her for a very long time. And it's a really good story. I really enjoyed the first two books. And uh, they're also really short. Like, this is only 183 pages. All right, next. Okay, next up is Made of Secrets by Jennifer McGowan. I don't think I have read that. Give me a second. Okay, here it is. This is the first book in the Maids of Honor series. And it says, if God won't save the queen, they will. Orphan Meg Fellows makes her living picking pockets until she steals from the wrong nobleman. Instead of rotting in prison like she expects, she's whisked away to the court of Queen Elizabeth and pressed into royal service as a spy. With a fake noble identity, Meg joins four other remarkable girls in the Maids of Honor, the Queen's secret society of protectors. So that's what this one is about. And I don't think we have a whole lot more. Oh my goodness. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so the next three books I have here came from McKay's, which you may have seen one of my Come With Me to McKay's videos. And it's just this really amazing, huge used bookstore that I just, I love so much. And it's so much fun to spend time in. But you can also get really super cheap books. Like these next three books, I think I spent $2.75 for all three of them. Okay, so the first one I have is The Three Sisters, which is the first book in the Krampus Chronicles by Sonia Halbach. I have not read that. It's funny though, because I recall that being on uh, my TBR multiple times, and I've never gotten around to reading it. So uh, let me go find that. Okay, here we go. This is like uh, the first book in a series, or maybe a duology. It looks like there's only two books. They're rated pretty high on Goodreads, too. It says, 14-year-old uh, Maggie Ogden thinks she knows everything there is to her grandfather, Clement Clark Moore, and his legendary poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas. But all this changes Christmas Eve, 1854, when Chelsea Manor receives an unexpected visitor, Henry Livingston, who's searching for evidence to prove that his grandfather, Mayor Henry, or Major Henry, is the true author of the famous holiday poem. The night takes a strange turn when Maggie and Henry come across another intruder in Chelsea Manor. After following the peculiar boy down a secret opening within the fireplace and through an underground tunnel full of mechanical sleighs, Maggie and Henry discover Popple, a hidden village under New York City. Faced with the deadly challenges presented by the legend of the three sisters, Maggie and Henry are forced to play by Popple's rules and those who run the cursed village. And they quickly learn that not only is leaving Popple harder than arriving, but there are even more dangerous lies and mysterious truths to Clement Clark Moore, Christmas, and a menacing creature called Krampus than anyone could have known. Okay, I could see in the video that there are a couple more books remaining, but my battery's flashing, so let me switch that out and I'll be right back. Sorry if there is any angle change. Continuing on. Okay, so these last two books are actually part of a series. I have the first book and the tenth book in this series. When I bought these, I thought they were standalone books, not part of a series. And it was once I got them home, I realized that it is part of a series. And it is the Women's Murder Club. So I have book one, which is First to Die and book 10 which is 10th anniversary by james patterson oh my goodness okay because these this these are both part of a series um i'm just gonna grab the first one if clint my friend clint is watching this i know exactly which book he's going to vote for <laughs> hold on so james patterson is my friend clint's absolute favorite author he, I think this might be his favorite series by this author. And he has told me to read it for years now. <laughs> and I can't remember anything about it. Uh, let's see. First to Die is a dazzling, powerful new thriller by master suspense novelist James Patterson. Four women, four friends share a determined 
determination to stop a killer who has been stalking newlyweds in San Francisco. Each one holds a piece of the puzzle. And that's really all I'm going to read about this. So there's that one. And those were the last two. So we have the Cinderella books, Sanctuary, Spike One, Spike Two, Voice on the Radio, Made of Secrets, uh, The Krampus Chronicles, or you can put The Three Sisters. I'll search both. Actually, just put The Three Sisters. Uh, that's what this one is. And then for James Patterson, we have First to Die. So I think I did pretty good with this haul. Hold on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, when I'm counting these individually, that means there's ten that I haven't read. And I think I said there was 26 books there. So that means I either read or unhauled 16 of those 26. So I didn't do terrible. I read, or I went through two thirds of them. So, all right. So you guys vote which of these books do you want me to add to my TBR for August? Comment down below and let me know. And stay tuned for the next round where I will be reacting to my first book outlet haul on here. And I can tell you, uh, in that thumbnail, I'm holding two giant boxes. <laughs> ah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!